Okay, well, I did just a little bit of off-screening and dropped some of my inventory over by Argive. I dropped about 60 pounds of items. I dropped a, a full water skin filled with 64 drams of water and a stack of um, copper nuggets that weighed 37 pounds. So I dropped all that stuff off. Now we can carry a whole lot more and um, we can actually go back out and explore a little bit and actually have room for loot and stuff. Still have plenty of water on me, 57 drams. I don't have to worry about, you know, being stuck somewhere and dying of dehydration. I could probably pour some of this into another water skin and take even less with me, but I don't want to. I also noticed in the comments, thank you for uh, someone warning me. I was almost out of torches. I actually would have went exploring and um, probably been caught in the darkness and killed. So, thank you for the warning there. And I also noticed uh, this small box. I didn't know that we could examine it. Let's take a look at it, and it is a box of crayons. Okay. I thought it might be something more impressive than that, like the Hellraiser cube or something. But, mm, a box of unmelted crayons is nice. So let's see. Yeah, this right here, this little stack, this question mark, upside down, what is that? A, I don't even know what that's called. Um, an entero bang or something? But, that's all, that's that stack of goods there, and whenever we come back, we'll pick it up and continue to do trade with our guys. Um, I do have 147 skill points left over. I looked around, and I'm either going to spend it on harvestry next time we level up and get skillful harvestry. That way I can harvest twice the amount of stuff. Or, um, I guess just continue to save it for tinkering stuff. I don't know yet. It's going to be quite a long time until I can use... Until I get enough intelligence for some of those tinkering skills. So it is 10 p.m. And um, where should we go? I don't really know where we should poke around. We could skirt the mountains and continue on into the jungles here. What is this? Is that anything different? Wild jungles. I really want to just find a new location that I haven't checked out yet. Wild jungles, desert canyons, that'd be kind of interesting. I know in the jungles we're going to be ambushed by goatmen and pygmies. Ancient ruins all over that way. If I was feeling suicidal, you know, we could jump into a, a vortex, but who, you never know where that's going to take you. Um, just thinking here. It's quite important, don't want to screw this up. I mean, we could travel into the salt plains and get ambushed by fire throwing stuff and get incinerated. Just continue to stomp around up here, maybe, through the flower fields. Search for runes over in this area. I think there was some runes this way that we didn't have fully mapped out. Um, we'll just head northeast then. Hey, and we bump into a set of runes. Yeah, we'll investigate them. Let's dive into the map then keep our shotgun handy and as the runes come into view we're ambushed by a feral dog that I'm going to eat we're bloated and quenched and filled with energy and a lone snapjaw scavenger well there's his buddy he drops a bronze two-handed sword and a treasure chest with a vine wafer and a copper nugget whoa we turn the corner and run face to face with oh the calloused snapjaw tot eater he's got bronze longsword and an electrified mace. Let's just shoot some fire. Ooh, I can hit all four of them with that shot. Nice. Three of them drop screaming. Instantly stopped in their tracks. Um, everyone gather round. I've got a shocking tale to tell you. We unleash, unleash a blast of electricity and that whole group just drops to the ground shaking. Iron dagger, no. Buckler, no. Slender. Ooh, two slender things. Slender iron longsword, no. Um, I'll pick up the electrified mace, and it has a fresh chem cell in it. I'm just going to take this energy cell, actually. I'm going to leave the electrified mace. They don't sell for that much. I'm not impressed with it anymore. We should burn both of those wild animals. Drop them onto a pile of flaming garbage. Yeah, there's a witchwood tree. I think I'll save my harvester and still... Uh, only star apple trees. I don't need any more witchwood. I think I've got like four or five pieces of it already. And, uh, if I ever need to use it, 
Uh, actually, that probably won't be enough if it ever gets bad enough for me to use it. Cut down two snap jaws quite easily. And a horned chameleon bursts through the door. We incinerate his corpse. Unless we run into a robot or something here. Maybe get cornered by a chitinous puma. Not going to be too much of a problem. We just do a running hand sand, handstand somersault through three snap jaws. And don't even flinch. Foolish creatures. Is this their leader, the hermit? He'll burn just like the rest of them. He falls to our blade. A dagger in the neck. Hmm. Can't even tell if these used to be rooms. If this, these were buildings or what this place was. Just ancient walls all over the place, dug into the dug into the dirt. Bronze dagger, iron short sword, no. A lacquered item. Thankfully, none of my stuff has really broken yet. In fact, I don't think any of it has unless I broke it while examining it. Now that's a... Now those are some runes. Trying to figure out what these runes are. If they're even anything. Or it's just my mind playing tricks on me. A large leech takes charge at us. It's filled with blood, the blood of its previous victims. We shock it and it snap jaw guardian down. Continue poking our way through the canyon here, the Full Creek Canyon. Ooh, and a treasure chest. A null worm skull. Gives one ego. A hideous plated skull with a gaping beak. I don't think I can actually. I don't. Can I wear that? Equip manual? No, I can't wear anything on my head. Say plus one ego, I could go for that. And then here is a witchwood wreath and a steel short sword. I'll take that steel short sword. There's a steel long sword. I might as well take the steel. I don't know why I'm passing all that up. And I think that's it for these runes. Nothing too important. Just a little snap job breeding ground for them and some of their wild animals. No telling what those runes even were. Maybe some type of aqueduct system. I don't really know. And this area is just completely dead. There was nothing moving on this map. That's quite weird. I'm gonna have to move into the canyons there and see if there's a stairwell down or something. Maybe they all retreated underground for the night. Let's see. There's a witchwood tree. Anyone in this canyon? Any survivors at all? No. This is kind of eerie. I know I haven't already been through here and killed everything because it's it's not mapped. The most silent section of the world I've ever seen. I don't know if I've ever been in a sector that didn't at least have a, a chameleon or a firefly in it. The salamander doesn't penetrate our armor. I'll just run backwards here. There we go. Get lined up. Wanted to make sure I didn't catch the Equimax in an attack. Um, I don't think I can kill those yet. I've heard they're great experience if you can, so by all means I urge you to try it out. If you think you're powerful enough to do so. And you know what? I think that's it. Oh, there are hostiles nearby. Back to the world map. We'll fly into the air then. I'm not going to wait around and kill them. Um, let's land. We return to the ground. And gracefully land on our feet. And we're just going to scout the edge of the map here then. We'll follow this edge all the way up to... What is this place? The asphalt mines? Rubble in cases this abandoned mine, where ancient tribes siphoned the black blood for their own inscrutable purposes. Oh god, we're dying of hunger. No, 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 don't don't continue moving. Um, I did not realize I had already ate all my stuff. Okay, so we're starving and things are bad. I might have to recall the Joppa. Damn it, give me something to kill. There's a boar. Um, we start sprinting in a fit of rage. We dive on the body, roll in the dirt, and it's already cooked from our flaming hands. We chew on it. The meat is tough, but the meal is filling. We're still hungry, so it wasn't that filling. I can't eat glow crows. I can't eat uh, dragonflies. Who else is out here? I'll even eat Snapjaw if I can find it. Snapjaw brute? It doesn't matter. 
Even a nasty scavenger. There's one. We impale him on a tree and take a cut of his gut. Right here. A disgusting male of sinew. We're now hungry and quenched. Still, um... Still quite voracious at this moment. Who else is out here? One of my most favorite meals in the world. The salt topper. And now it's going to be a well-cooked salt topper. Nom nom nom. That hits the spot. We're bloated and quenched. Okay, so let's um, make sure we do not... I do not allow myself to starve to death. I'm going to have to kill, find some stuff to kill here and take their corpses with me. <clears throat> we run through the Snapjaw Warrior, coated in his blood. I'm not going to pick up a Snapjaw corpse, though. That's quite worthless. That didn't even take me out of the hungry status. The treasure chest here has some arrows, a water skin, and a black robe in it. Nothing fancy. Just a Snapjaw storage chest. Move on to the next map here. And a two-headed boar. We'll fry him and then get into a stabby fight. Die, you fiend. There we go. Um, put the corpse in our backpack. That weighs 40 pounds. I can't carry two of those. I need um, dogs. I think dog corpse only weighs 10 pounds. That snap jaw falls to our blade. Um, And I just killed a firefly. That's kind of bad. Because now every firefly on the map is going to hate me. How much does a salt hopper corpse weigh? Only five pounds? God dang, those things are vicious for only five pounds. They're five pounds of pure hate, I guess. Hello, Snapjaw. Bronze battle axe, a woven tunic. Not, no. Don't need any more gear at this point. Beaded bracelets don't weigh anything. Quite valuable. Hello, Snapjaw bastard. The warrior catches fire and begins twitching all around trying to put the flames out. He drops to the ground right as soon as we take his buddy's head off. You almost had me surprised there. We'll take his meal. A single, lone, solitary vine wafer. Ron's longsword now. Are there no feral dogs, damn it? Send me your dogs. Iron short swords, wide brimmed hats, gra. Gra gra gra, snap jaws. We dance around them, cutting them all over. And they fall to our blade as well, just like everything will. Provided we don't um, get too cocky. Ambushed by a snapjaw and a snapjaw hunter. We just flick backwards, take out the uh, melee fighter. I want to burn him. There we go. Iron longsword, no. Don't need the bow, don't need any of it. Snapjaws, don't you eat anything? Why don't you carry any food? I can't butcher anything from them either. In fact, right now, Snapjaws are exactly what I don't want to be fighting. Bronze Short Sword, no. Witchwood Wreath, I can't eat the wreaths. I wish I could, but I can't. And here we are, in the salt desert. We are turning around. North we'll go. We'll just follow the edge for as long as I possibly can. Sprint up through here. Anyone nearby? There's a jilted lover. Sometimes they uh, drop food. Not very often. Cha. We split the snap jaw in two. He doesn't drop anything for us. Incinerate the boar. And, um... You know, do I, do I butcher a boar if I kill it from a distance with fire? I haven't actually been paying attention. I've got one boar corpse, two boar meat, salt hopper chipped... They must, because I don't think that I've killed that many with melee. That's kind of neat. Holy crap. We get ambushed by a whole bunch of snap jaws. We're going to blast the ones in front with fire, and then shock this one. Lightning chains through all of the snap jaws there, and yeah, run. I hit the sprint key, and actually... I need to use um, an insta-heal ejector. It hisses against our skin. We're up to 16 hit points. Snap jaws begin pouring in from the side of the screen. Um, you know what? This is just 
all types of horribly bad all over. This is a witchwood time. Let's chow down on the witchwood. We eat one of it, two of it. And that should be good to go. And hey, we held up. We didn't go insane from it. Nice. So let's see. Snapjaw corpse. Nope. Don't need any of that. Bronze dagger. Bronze two-handed sword. And suddenly I'm back. I'm alive. We cut through the snapjaw hunter above. Get two experience. He drops to the ground. Where's your leader at? I don't think I killed him yet. Um, we'll flick our fire that way. Chop him down. And kill him. There we go. I think actually their leader might have died whenever I, I electrocuted. We pick up a blood-stained neck ring, a beaded bracelet. Yeah, whenever I unleashed eight charges through this whole group here, he must have dropped then. Brave little bastards. They almost had me in the darkness. Maybe they've got a lair around here, too, or something. Surely, with that many... In one place, they were guarding something. They were all just huddled up on that side. There's a slacker. You should have been with your friends earlier. This one jumps off the top of the shell and tries to ambush us. And three of them just turn the corner and slice their own throats on my blade. All I had to do was hold it out for them. Maybe the reflecting moonlight caught their attention and they were drawn to it. Iron short sword, don't need it. Well, hello there. Can I get both of these guys? There we go. The hunter drops to the ground. And we uh, pick up a, oh, a shotgun and a sturdy pump shotgun. I'm glad I dropped him. Shotgun blast could have quickly ruined some things. Especially at that close range. So maybe they weren't guarding anything after all. Anything in here? Another empty canyon. And I think the sun is rising, too. Here's a bunch of meat I think we can eat. Come here, chameleons. You all in range yet? Blam. The flaming salamanders all die. Um, actually, you know what? I don't know if there is any salamander meat I can harvest. There we go. Quick little pirouette lines them all up. And we butcher a raw boar meat. Is it, um, someone can tell me in the comments, too, if there's a way to actually cook and salt this meat that I'm harvesting here. I've, I've seen it referenced a few times, but I don't know if it's actually just, um, if it's fluff or if you can actually do it. There's a seed-spitting plant over there. More salamanders. Seed-spitting vine fails to penetrate our armor. We're in seed-spitting vine territory. It hits an Equimax, and the Equimax gets angry. And stomps the bastard into the ground. Also kills a glow crow. A glow crow. Glow glow. Stomps him down to the ground. Well, hello there. No, please do not shoot the Equimax. We catch the, uh... There we go. Nope. One step closer. Catch the salt hopper on fire and electrocute him. Pick up a copper nugget from, uh... I think the chameleon... The salamander that dies. And forget it. I'm out of there. I'm not going to dance with the seed spitting plants all over the place. Every few steps. A dog corpse. We cut him down in his prime. And a terrifying irritable tortoise charges after us, snapping his maw. He goes down squealing. Fortunately, I didn't butcher anything from him either. Wow. And we step into the whiteness. I guess I'll run along the edge of this map for just a moment. What do we got here? A bunch of R's? A Dawn Glider. It's tough, hostile. It leaves in its wake a blazing trail of heat. Screw that. Anybody over here on this map? Looks like it's safe. There is one Dawn Glider. I'm gonna go back this way. We're just gonna skim through a few of these sectors. I wanna see what they, what they all look like. So far they just look like salty hell. With that delicious blue running through the middle that's so tempting, but is a lie. It's not refreshing at all. It's a salty, corrosive hell. And there's an electrofuge. And runes. Some type of buildings are here. We flick our wrist at the electro bastard and drive our carbide dagger deep into his circuitry. You know what? Let's just tiptoe around these corners here. What do we got here? An albino ape and a honey skunk. Nothing we haven't faced before. 
And you know what? Well, actually, the albino ape is um, a little bit tougher than normal. We shock him and he goes down. We butcher an albino pelt from him and now we've got way too much to move. So, wow, one pelt weighs 20 pounds. You know what? Eat the boar corpse. Its meat is tough but filling. And he dropped leather boots for us, too. What is this? I think it might just be ground or something. Can I go down? No. Can I go up? Oh, up took me to the world map, I think. Where am I over here, anyways? There I am, right there on the edge. So, back down we go. I actually didn't want to do that, damn it. Now, where the hell was I? Um, great. I don't think I'll ever find those runes again. I don't know why I did the up command there, like an idiot. Anything over here? Maybe I could go back to the world map and stomp around, and it would tell me there's runes in the area. Damn it, I want to explore those. Is that it over here? No, it's nighttime now. Shit. Exactly when I don't want to be exploring this area, so... I'm just going to move around a bit here. I'll go back down to this area. There we go. We've got this place mapped out, so I've already been here. And I'm just going to retrace my steps. Fist, no. If I can retrace them. Where's my torches at? Um, God, i got so much stuff. Four torches remaining. That's plenty of time. There we go. It's 4 a.m., so that little bit of stomping around we did on the world map kind of freed things up for us. We passed a little bit of time, and we're back. Good. That did work. Whew. I was going to be so, so upset and dead on the inside if I had to abandon these runes we finally stumbled across. There's a treasure chest. Nice and slow. I have no idea what type of demons could lurk out here in the salt plains. Let's see, an herb berry, poison gas grenade, a glow sphere, and a copper nugget. We ate the herb berry already. I wanted to get a, I wanted to actually look at it and see what the description was. It's prototypically delicious. You are now hungry and quenched. Um, let's see, eat. I guess I already ate the salt hopper corpse too. Damn, just that little bit of stomping around I did on the world map. Already ate up all of our food supplies. Quite dangerous. <sighs> if only I could find a food factory. So what do we got here? A giant beetle. It's easy, it's hostile, and I don't know if it has any food. It pops and explodes. Whoa! The trapezing mortar takes seven damage from its own explosion. Ooh, yeah! And inside this treasure chest is steel plate mail, a lead slug, and a silver nugget. I am putting that steel plate mail on. Um, equip it manually over the ring mail, and you know what? Drop the ring mail. As soon as I get out of the screen, I'm going to be attacked as well. So, let's see. Where's where's all my drugs at? Where'd my drugs go? Uh, right here. How about jam an insta heal ejector against our skin? We catch a mortar in the face. We take 17 damage from the explosion, and I'm going to begin sprinting. And you know what? Yeah. We're carrying too much to move. What the hell? 278. Good lord, I didn't even look at that. Shit. This could be bad. This could be where we all die. Regenera ejector. Hisses against our skin. Insta heal. Apply that. Apply another one of those. Um, let's see. Toughness. Apply it. I don't know if all of these turns are adding up and the enemy is going to get like 30 turns after this. It's possible. Um, strength, no. Need to drop the steel short sword. There we go. We begin sprinting. Where did the mortar go? There we go. He turns the corner and takes 14 damage from him. And yes, we friggin' melted him with a blast of fire. Whew. Our toughness returns to normal. We get 375 experience. I'm gonna rest until healed here. Okay. Be a little bit more careful about that. I might try, I should try flying next time one of those things are by me. I don't know if their explosions can actually hit me in the air or not. I didn't want to try it after I had just started sprinting though. 
just in case it was my only recourse if sprinting failed. So we got these ruins mapped out. Talk about a whiteout, I'm blinded from all this. I need some sunglasses while I'm out here in the desert. Nothing there. Oh, we're gonna have to get out of this place actually. I'm gonna have to head back east to where there's uh, some type of wildlife. Boars, some type of trees maybe, even if it's just witchwood trees I have to harvest. And I'm curious what those dots are. Those stones or something? Oh, thank God, there's life here. We can get down on our hands and knees and start chewing on grass if I feel like I'm starving too much. Okay, so we've got four of my favorite friends here. Horned Chameleon and three tortoises. Electrocute all of them. The tortoises, come on, line up. And we electrocute two of them. And the last one finally goes down squealing. Eat the corpse. We're now quenched and stated. Eat that one. Bloated and quenched. It is a good day to be alive. Horned chameleon corpse lays there. I don't have any room for it, though. Uh, maybe I should head back. Head back to town. Head back to Joppa. I don't know if it's been enough time yet, though. I'll stay out here for as long as possible. Give the merchants time to restock. What do I have that's weighing me down so much? Chem cells, no. Albino 8 pelt, I'm gonna keep, because I want to see how much that trades for. If it trades for a lot, it'll, it'll be worth taking butchery early on, maybe on a character. Well, even though an early character wouldn't be able to um, kill an albino wave, actually, so that's a horrible idea. Well, this shotgun weighs 12 pounds. Uh, what's sturdy mean? This item cannot break. Okay. So, I will equip that then. Put the sturdy pump shotgun there, and I'll disassemble a regular shotgun. It should weigh just, it should weigh the same, actually. There we go, 12 pounds. Let's break that down, because that can break, and now I don't ever have to worry about not having a gun, even if I get ambushed by a wall of kudzu. Plenty of copper nuggets. Well, only five of them there. A box of crayons. I think that can sell for a lot of money. Down to 29 drams of water. I've already drank half of that water skin that I set out with. So really, I don't, I don't have too much weighing me down. It's just, you know, this variety of stuff that I carry on me to be, um... What's that word? Versatile? I guess that's the price I pay. Yeah, I may do more off-screen whenever I get back to Joppa, though and force myself to drop a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if I can do it with you guys watching, though. It's just too damn difficult. It'd take too long. It'd take a whole hour-long video. Flying glow crow dies. They were over there pecking something to death. Who knows what. And we've discovered a layer of Ott, the legendary boar. We level up to level 11, 4 hit points, 78 skill points, 1 mutation point, and... That also means food. Plenty of boars for plenty of boar meat. We're gonna find this legendary boar and I'm gonna have me a legendary dinner. You don't get this chance very often so don't pass it up whenever it uh, finally arrives. There's a snapjaw guardian. We dodge to the side and cut him down. He drops a regular witchwood wreath. A hunter dove in off the edge of the screen there and then dove away again. We slammed that snap jaw against the wall. We cut him down. And let's see, that hunter dropped a beaded bracelet, a bloodstained neck ring, not bad. Gotta be approaching my weight limit again. Where's this layer at? In the middle of the screen maybe? tiptoe our way through the canyon here, waiting for an ambush at any moment. There it is. It stinks. The stench is almost unbearable. The stench of unknown corpses as well. And right on the inside there's a bear in here, probably hunting for his own meal. We light him on fire and get into a stabby fight with him too. He falls to our carbide dagger and we butcher a raw bear meat from him. Pass a few more turns until we're healed up and rested. You know what? Can I eat his corpse yet? No. It'll make us sick. We'll save him for an exit meal. Snapjaw fiend. 
and two cave spiders just asking to be obliterated. Easy 50 experience. A pile of bones. I can eat the bones. It'll make me sick. A hideous specimen. So let's not. Um, feels almost, I guess, I don't know, disrespectful to eat the bones of the dead. We don't even know what type of bones they are. A treasure chest, a bear, and us. This falls in that goes after. So let's see. There's nothing in it. What? Someone's already been down here before us. Tiptoe through here. And we blot, we run into the Snapjaw Warlord. It gets the first shot on us and doesn't penetrate our steel armor with its bronze two-handed sword. It glances off and sparks fly against the wall, burning a hole in my beard. You bastard. We light him on fire. I then get to poking him to death with our carbide dagger. It cuts through him, and he drops. Let's see, a water skin, a quilted shawl, and there's the stairs down. The dogs go crazy. Mm. Okay. And let's see, more bones here. Two snap jaws jump out of the darkness, drop a worn burn noose and two bronze swords. Nope. There's another stairwell down. Let's not get cocky and, you know, just choose one stairwell down. Let's scout the whole area out and see what other options we've got. Bronze dagger, war worn burn news. Anyone home? It's always possible we could run into the legendary boar on the first level, too. No one says he's got to be down at the bottom, however many levels that is. Okay, so let's peek down this one. Put our head down the stairs here and see what we've got. We step down and take a snapjaw scavenger by surprise. Quick dagger to the spine drops him silently. He doesn't even get a squeal off to alert his friends, wherever they might be. Tiptoe through here. These rooms are quite massive. These first two are, anyways. Hey, wait a second. Where's my stairwell up? We don't have one. That is not good. Is this a trap section? We kill that spider hanging on the wall. I was hoping he was guarding a door there, but no. He drops a copper nugget. I'll leave that spider be for the time being. We're quenched, sated. I've got a little bit of food. But if this is a trap area... Good lord. I might have to remember the, the direction that other um, stairwell was and start trying to dig through the walls. Inside this chest, there's nothing. Another cruel trick. Trying to get an adventurous hopes up. Bones. Lay on the ground. Probably bones of some poor adventurer. We eat them. We're bloated and quenched. Strike the jilted lover down. Damn it, this is a trap. Okay. Well then, we came down right here, and if I remember correctly, this way, down through the wall, um, there was another stairwell, so it's possible that there's rooms not too much further to the south. I don't have a weapon that can really dig very well. I don't have any powers that allow me to dig either. All I can do is attack the wall and slowly dig through it, so I'm going to hold control and strike at the wall. If if I if we don't get through this wall in time and I start to starve to death, I will use my Joppa recoiler. There we go. We knock a hole in that wall. You can see our temperature rising as we work out. I think it peaks somewhere up in the 80s. Good lord. This shell wall is a bitch. There we go. Finally, through the second one, we're quenched and sated. There's more bones out there that we'll run back and eat, too. We won't let their sacrifices go to waste. And there's the stairwell. Yes. Okay. So let's eat these bones. Wrong. That hits the spot. How much do these bones weigh? Can I carry them? Five pounds? Hell yeah. Sorry, travelers. I'm an albino eight pound. Fuck you. You're 20 pounds of worthlessness at this point. I guess those were the only bones. Oh well. Yep, leave the albino ape pelt. We step onto the stairwell and there's a snapjaw scavenger there. 
he puts up one hell of a fight. Finally, he drops. We bash his face against this large boulder here. He drops a beaded bracelet. I'm going to catch the boulder on fire. There we go. Past a few turns. The boulder burns down. And, um... There's stairs down. I don't know if I'm brave enough to, step, to go into them. The giant amoeba takes charge after us. I'm going to run backwards. Just get him out of that tunnel. And he splooshes. And squirts his stuff all over the place. Bronze two-handed sword, no. Slender buckler. Another boulder that we fry. Has a couple turns letting that burn down. Damn, another one? Burn them all down. The boulder melts, and from behind it charges a whole gaggle of stuff. A giant amoeba and his snapjaw friends unleash a burst of electricity. The two in the back get the worst of it as the electricity arcs out of their back, meat and gore exploding all over the walls. Launch another burst of fire, and what is that? A blood stained neck ring. Okay, I just saw the symbol for infinity, and that kind of scared me. I was wondering what could be badass enough in this game to deserve that symbol. Bronze battle axe, no. Don't need any of that. We automatically pick up a lone lead slug. Good lord, more stuff crammed in this tunnel here. Um, let's see, we automatically pick up the shotgun shell, the lead slug, the bloodstained ring, and we have two turns until we can go back to combat. The flaming snapjaw corpse finally burns up with one last hiss. And, uh, we're back in the corner with the electrofuge and the snapjaw scavenger. So how about one quick burst of fire on them and they bolt incinerate and are no more. You know, I, I don't know if I should try this. I kind of want to eat the electrofuge corpse. Um, let's pick it up then. How much does it weigh? Can I, can I save it for later? 150 pounds? Okay, no. I was wanting to carry it around for a bit. You know, maybe save it and eat it later whenever I was really hungry. Here's the stairs down. I'm kind of scared to take these stairs in case I get trapped again. I guess I do have the recoiler, and we can always cross our fingers and hope it works. Hello, Snapjaw. You dropped a bandage, a club, worthless, and more bones. Got enough weight. Let's pick that up. And these bones. Maybe we can make a delivery of these bones plus our bones to the legendary boar god. The scent is getting stronger, so I know he's getting closer. You got a snapjaw warrior and a snapjaw what? Snapjaw brute. Cut both of them down rather easily. There we go. Iron longsword, leather apron, worthless to me. More bones. Fortunately, I cannot pick that up, and there it is. Ut. It's easy, hostile. This ill-tempered, bristled pig struts about on stubby legs. He's easy, hostile. And I want to see how he burns. He takes one damage. We're going to shock him, too. Um, let's see. The flaming ot doesn't penetrate our armor. He's wounded. He took a lot of damage from my mutant attacks there, but he holds up. We level the shotgun at him. It rips through, and he drops to the ground. I'm going to eat your corpse. It will probably make us sick. Continue? Yes. You ate way too much. You vomit. It's tough, but the meal is filling, and it's completely worth it. To feel this completely sick. Mm. You'll never get a chance to eat legendary boar meat again. So do it while you can. There's no way I was going to carry it with me. And inside his treasure chest here is... Um, let's see. A slender Borderlands revolver. Means it weighs less. Weighs less. I'll take that. Take this other Borderlands revolver. I'm going to have to drop some stuff here. Mm. Actually, I don't have to drop anything yet. So let's disassemble some of this stuff. More, let's disassemble both of these. Yep. And what did I get there? Scrap electronics, I think. So that'll just leave us with the, only the slender one, which weighs one pound. Quite nice. Got six pounds to spare. Copper nuggets. You guys will have to weigh so much. All these witchwood wreaths. Let's drop those. That's eight pounds of wreaths, and I don't think they even sell for really anything. Didn't continue to tiptoe through down here. Look at all these bones, all these poor adventurers and stuff. The Snapjaws probably caught them and brought them here to offer them up as sacrifice to the boar god. And there's 23 drams of fresh water and a, and a Snapjaw skin. Not bad. Another chest. And there's nothing in it either. 
Stairs down. I don't know if I'm brave enough to take those stairs down. I've got what I came for. Which was the legendary boar dinner. Anything else is just asking for trouble. I mean, the caves are... The caves are almost infinite. There's no telling what you'll find if you want to poke around long enough. I think I'm going to do it, though. We're going to continue to take the stairs down, at least for the time being. Come on, buddies. There we go. Two snap jaws fall down, cooked and incinerated, and we just dive through the amoeba. A hot, warm, gelatinous mess of flaming goo. Jam a shell into our shotgun and carry on. And a long room of empty tunnels filled with nothing. Okay. All the way over there is the stairs down. I just I worry about at some point I'm going to take a stair a stairwell down and have no way of getting back up. And then I'm going to use my recoiler, and even that's not going to work. We incinerate the amoeba, and it leaves its mess all over the floor. What do we got? Ten drams of fresh water, and now we're carrying too much. Sorry, water. I don't think there's anything else I can drop here. Carry all my beaded bracelets. I thought I dropped all these witchwood wreaths. There we go. Who knows, maybe I dropped something else up there. We pick up a burnt capacitor. I'm known to do stuff like that. You know, try to drop, say, a sock or something and end up drop, dropping a legendary artifact item. It happens. <clears throat> Hello, Dreadroot. Surely it's not just Dreadroots and stuff down here. Another trinket, a cracked lens to put to our tinkerer stockpile a bent metal sheet I don't know if I should break all of this stuff down I assume I should because it all weighs one pound or if I should just drop it near a merchant somewhere and wait for the long rainy day that I I might be able to uh, get the skill that allows me to get extra scrap from whenever I break this stuff down this is a nasty cave system Hello, Snapjaw Hunter. What were you doing down here? He drops a leather cloak. Can't wear it. Short bow, steel battle axe. Can't wear the cloak because of my ring, my wings. Hello there. Okay. If there's another stairwell down, I'm not taking it, actually. I take that back. This is as far down as we go. That seat spitter drops a leather apron. I don't think we'll find anything better further down. Bent metal sheet. And at some point, I just know it's going to get us. We're going to be screwed over. We're going to bump into some unholy forgotten beast from the very pits of cut itself. Sandals of the river wives don't need now. I don't think I can break any of that stuff down. Another dead end corner. You always search out every corner because you never know if a trinket's washed into that corner or not. You don't want to leave it unturned. The water carries things many places. I guess this is as far down as it goes. Okay. Unless there's a stairwell in one of these few uncovered places. Hello there, amoeba. We pick up an, a bent metal sheet as he explodes behind us. His overheated body giving in to the pressure. Burnt capacitor. No. I have to break all that down when I get back to Joppa. Wow, we slam into a cave spider. It bounces off the wall and reels at us. We drive our dagger deep into its thorax, and it stops twitching. And there we are. So let's get the hell out of here before something bad happens. Whew, I guess we can head back to Joppa, maybe. Um, do Hopefully do a little bit of trading. I'm going to have to find some a decent place to get star apples from at some point. Oh, please work. Stairs up. There we go. Of course, I always get worried that the stairs up are going to take me to a dead end themselves. <sighs> Finally, we're outside. It's 9 a.m. It's a beautiful day out here. And, um, unfortunately, we have to turn back now, all the way to Joppa. I don't know if we're going to make it. Sated, bloated, sated, sated, bloated. I'm watching my health up there. We eat the bones. Take a sip of our fresh water. And I think we're lost. 
<clears throat> yep, we become lost on our journey there. It's nighttime. Our torch has long since burned out, and I know I've got a glow glow thingy somewhere. Come on, glow thingy, glow sphere, there you are. We slap the glow sphere into our hand and it instinctively comes to life. Black robes, bronze battle axe, no. Nope. I'm not sure, should I just I should probably just head south. Try to get as close to Joppa as I can. Come out as close to it as I can anyways. Well, aren't you chameleons just the most friendly thing is in the world? Good lord. It's like some great salamander conga line. Everyone line up here. You're all worthless to me. One experience. Copper nugget. I guess that's worth it. Um, let's eat the corpse. We're bloated and quenched. Continue our little run here. Well. Hello, boar. We shock the boar. And the vault each flies out of him and takes out his salamander friend. There we go. And we regain our bearings. Can I travel? Good. We get on a path straight to Joppa and we make it. Without any further uh, incidents. It is 10 a.m. and the merchants have restocked. So, let's see what Tam's got here. Um, he's got lead slugs. Of course I'm going to get those. Of course I'm going to get the shotgun shells. Um, bear jerky? Yes. Raw bear meat? Of course. And I'm still going to take off. Um, as soon as we're done trading here and everything, we're still going to head back further north. Got the hiccups. We're going to try to go back to those ruins up there. Continue to see what we can find. Huh. Did I even loot anything I could sell? I don't think I lo looted too much. A steel short sword? 15 drams? No. I've got, of course I've got all these beaded bracelets and stuff. I could get rid of it at some point. Two silver nuggets, two slender bracelets. I mean, I am loaded. I'm, I'm not in any need of cash if I need stuff. I just don't, I don't need to trade for these nuggets right now. I guess I would get rid of some drams of water for that. Um, yeah, that'll be fine then. And what else does he have? If only I had put points into uh, axe skill, which I'm not going to yet, I don't think. That would be 2d3. That wouldn't be bad to have um, in an offhand if I ever got a floating glow sphere. So yeah, we'll trade for that. Sounds good. We'll have to pony up 12 drams of water. And that is fine by me. Relieve some of that burden and weight that's on my shoulders. And let's see what Argive has there. You can see the uh, apostle out there. That freak show. Just waiting for his moment to burst in here and get knocked the hell out by Argive. So Argive's got a chain gun data disc that I've already got one of. Flashbang grenade. Fle a freeze grenade. Mark 2 II and 3. Speed booster. Auto injector. Nothing too fancy. Nope, oh, nothing I want from Argive yet, then. And, um, I'm actually gonna save it and take a break, and whenever we come back, yeah. We're just gonna continue exploring the same thing I've been doing for the last two or three videos. We're just gonna continue to do it. I'm not ready to go to the Grit Gate yet. Um, I don't want to attempt to even go in through there. Just not for the time being. So, go on, Zealot. Go in there. Argive said you're next. It's your turn. He's just peering in through the window outside licking his lips at all of the trinkets that Argive has in there. I'll be back.